Nguyen. Um, I'm 16, turning 17. Um, I'm an artist and an aspiring fashion designer um, who, and I work with my parents, my mom who's a seamstress and my dad who formerly worked in IT but now he does the background work and marketing for our business. I describe myself as head in the clouds, not very in tune with reality some days, uh, a procrastinator like a lot of artists are, um, but I'm, I also really like trying new things and exploring new skills, especially when it comes to art. I like doing all types of media. I like working with all different sorts of people and in all sorts of places. So our project was brought to us by um, a, an event planner, her name's Elisa, um, who does, her business is Exceptional Events by Elisa. And she brought this project up to us. She wanted to do an elopement shoot, um, especially right now in the 2020 uh, COVID-19 pandemic. A lot of brides have had to cancel or postpone their weddings. And so she wanted to put together a little uh, mini package um, focusing on like the elopement theme. We were going with very boho, very, um, not too big or, or formal wedding because a lot of brides are going with that very small ceremony with not a lot of people. So with this dress, we've had to work a little bit backwards. Everything around the shoot was centered around the dress. So the flower pieces, the um, setups, the the flowers, the cards, everything had to work around this dress. And this, you know, as everyone was working on their own piece, we've only had 10 days to actually work on this dress. And so um, usually you'd have time to start with like a mood board, a color story, and then you pick out your fabrics and all that. We we did not have that time at all. So Alisa sent me um, the mood board that and the idea she wanted for this dress. She wanted off the shoulder, um, kind of bohemian, very light, very flowy, um, something to compliment the bride who we have not met up until we or and we will not have met until up to the day of the shoot. So we have no idea um, how, what her, you know, proportions or how she's gonna look um, we only had a picture to base off of and she, you know she had her engagement postponed twice and so we had no idea how she looked now versus when she gave us her measurements she also had a baby in that time so um, we she, we got set the mood board and you know we started working right away we set up our own mood board <laughs> and try to work around the different color stories that were going on, try to find a style that worked with all the different types of textures and themes that were going on. Um, we couldn't order fabric at all because it takes almost two, three months to get fabric in, especially around the pandemic. So we had to scour through fabric stores, we had to scour through what we already had, Sometimes we would start draping and we found out we just didn't simply did not have enough fabric So we had to take all of it down and start completely over from scratch um, Once we had our materials we Sketched some basic I sketched some basic croquis like this one dress had like 60 to 70 different croquis and different designs pockets styles necklines um, and when we finally chose like one basic design we wanted to go with and tested out the different materials on it, we had to continue tweaking and seeing what we could do because we had very limited materials and time. So we worked up until two hours before we had to leave for the shoot. We worked day and night and we made final illustrations of the dress and after it was done, and made masks to, for all of the 
team, uh, the wedding pros who would be at the shoot. We needed a mask to match the dress. And you know, two hours before we had to leave, we packed up, finished, and we went. What got me excited about this shoot, or what motivated me about this shoot? When Elisa had initially brought this idea up to us about the first week of June, uh, she had mentioned elopement. I got really, really excited because I, the idea of an elopement dress was so like different. So like something I was always looking for. I like mobility. I like functionality. I like something that's flowy and not too restricting when it comes to wedding dresses. Um, I like something that's more on the simple side, but you know has all the practicalities that come that should I think come with the dress like pockets and something that's not too puffy and long and get will get in your way so I, I got really excited and I printed out a bunch of croquis that I had already drawn up in the past and I just started sketching so many different dresses before she even brought up the idea of what she wanted. I just started sketching so many elopement dresses. I did research on the, all the different types of things that people would want in an elopement dress. It's adventurous, you know, you're going to be outside and all the different scenarios like a beach elopement or um, something in the mountains, something in colder weather and humid weather. I, did all this research and I'm really excited. I was feeling, well, throughout the project, I, at the beginning I was very, very excited to get started. And I still was, but you know, throughout the process it did get a little difficult sometimes. It got a little bit stressful. Um, I had to ask my um, mom for help a lot because she's an amazing seamstress and she knows how to put a garment together much better than I do. Um, she's also a busy person so in the time that she's working I'm here sketching and uh, draping and putting together the materials that I can. Um, so we had 10 days and in those 10 days about three of those days were us actually sewing and putting this dress together. Um, so it got very nerve-wracking and quite stressful. We had very long nights and we stayed up till early in the morning to pull everything together. But it was worth it. My favorite moments were probably first getting the mood board and putting together like the 60 different uh, elopement dress outfits that we had. I had planned in my head. Um, and then being able to, we went to some local fabric stores and you know, being able to look at this, you know, all the material and draping it onto a mannequin. And then I think my favorite moments so it was the beginning and then it was also the end when we finally put everything th together. We had put like the final embellishments on the neckline, the pockets. Um, and then putting together the matching mask that would go with the dress. The mask was, we, uh, was taken lace from the main body of the dress and we put it on the mask. And then we put some embellishments on. It was exactly seven little daisies um, that we had cut out of some lace trim that I found. Um, and we had embellished little pearls into each of the center of the daisies. And the daisies and the number seven were supposed to represent good luck, right? Because seven is a lucky number, and we wanted to, you know, represent good luck for Lauren because her wedding had been postponed two times. So we wanted to make sure that she had a little bit of good luck for this. Oh, the shoot itself was fantastic. Yeah, it was also one of my favorite moments. Like bringing the dress, I was really nervous at first because. Uh, Lauren wasn't there yet at the shoot when we arrived, um, but when we did get there and they, we took the dress out of its little protective bag and we set it on the stairs of uh, the venue at 2941 restaurant. Um, and you know, we opened the glass doors and we set the dress where the light would come down and I was like, wow, everything is so real, it's finally coming together. And then helping, when Lauren finally arrived and she had all her hair and her makeup done and we 
helped her put the dress on. It was, it was surreal. It was so amazing. How do I think I grew from this? I think that, well, not only myself, I think everyone around me, my whole family grew from this experience. I definitely gained a lot more confidence um, as a designer. You know, I have studied art for like a long, long time, but applying art a, to design <laughs> takes a lot of practice. It definitely takes a lot of patience. Um, I definitely think I learned a lot from going to the shoot, seeing what how the team puts everything together, what was required of me, what was required of the people at the shoot. Um, and definitely, I learned a lot about taking into account certain aspects of the dress, um, like at a wedding or at an, an actual event versus at this stage shoot. I learned a lot of things about how to improve upon the design, how to improve upon what to do for next time. And then the people around me that, you know, my mom, my siblings, or my sister who was helping me, you know, shoot the videos and take all the photos during our process. Um, I know they definitely learned a lot about the timing, how to get, them, how to get things together. Um, my mom, who's already a professional seamstress, she definitely learned that working with me is gonna take, a few, you know, a lot of steps.